All right, hello everybody. So, uh, messed up my trade today here in coin. Actually took three trades overall, so you have to wait till the end of the video to see how that plays out exactly. But boy, oh boy, did I mess up my first trade of the day in coin. And unfortunately, today is my last day that I'm gonna be trading this week. I think next Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so I think next Monday is closed for the markets, and then I will be back on Tuesday. So next Tuesday, should be the next time that I'm here trading. I do have at least one or two videos planned to hopefully come out tomorrow and Thursday before next week, so stay tuned for those. And then for today, let's see what happened with coin. Okay, so the first trade of the day, as you know, was here on coin, and it was actually making a really, really nice move here out of the opening gates. It was starting to hit on the scanner. The reason that this is kind of a messed up trade here is I started too early, and it's clear that I started too early because of the huge amount of volume that starts coming in, like right when I go ahead and start it. Tons of volume coming in, so I'm not patient enough. I, I kind of rush my entry here instead of waiting for the correct entry. Just look at that volume just flying in. So I do start it there short, 100 shares at 39.84. It immediately pops through because of the huge volume. I put out another order there up at 40.40. Get that filled in 200 shares short now at 40.11. And this volume is still coming, so there's really... I could have even waited beyond where I got my first ad to even start this thing, and it could have been a, a nice trade here. So it does finally move up further. I get my final ad in there. Now I have 400 shares short average of 4066 here on coin. And it got up a little bit higher than that, and I almost for a second had to just cut this one outright and take the uh, bigger loss. But thankfully, it did start coming back down. But then here's kind of where I I made the, the next mistake on this trade here on coin is... I got a little impatient with it and it was starting to make the nice pullback here. You can see that big volume exhaustion candle on the previous one where you see that volume all the way up at almost a million and then it started running out of volume real fast here. So that was, should have been a good sign to me that I could w probably hold and wait here and worst case scenario, if it starts to come back up through like 42, just take the loss. But as it's coming down here, I'm watching it. I'm like, okay, I want to see a nice break down here through 41 and it kind of broke down there and then came back up so i was like oh is this thing just gonna bounce off of 41 maybe i should be looking to just cover partial of this out if it doesn't break nicely through 41 again so there it comes down through 41 again and it doesn't really break so i say okay i'm just gonna take three quarters off here at least reduce my potential loss on this one overall and see if the remaining 100 shares can get down and give me some more. And pretty much immediately, it gets down under my average, which was 4066. So that's a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, probably the right move for risk management-wise, if it's going to come back up there, would have been reducing my loss. But then it comes down nicely here. As you're going to see, it's pushing down through the 4050. So I'm looking for a spot to take another 50 shares off here we can get a bit more of a push down and if I was able to hold you know obviously my full share size for this move as it comes down under the 40s that's a nice cover right there and at least reduces it down on the loss a little bit and then I was like okay you know what this is the third mistake if I just see it start to pop up even a little bit I'm just going to cover the the whole thing out and end this trade and uh, take the red on it so I it starts to pop up a little bit I cover the whole thing out and take the red on it and from there this thing crashed all the way down to 38 so Pretty much played this one as bad as I possibly could have. So to come out with only a $93 loss playing it that poorly, I guess I can't complain too much and moved on with the day. And I did take some time after that trade to try and recompose myself. So I didn't trade anything for a little while. You know, 40 minutes or so has gone by at this point and I've, you know, recomposed myself and I start to see SHC popping up here. And I'm going to go ahead and get in short 200 shares here at 1622. I didn't think the range on this one was going to be nearly as much, so I was okay with starting with the 200 share order there at 16.22 and then work off of the 16.50-ish level for a potential ad spot if it wanted to get up through that area. So in here at 16.22, and if we can get down through 16, that's where I'll look to start taking my uh, partials out. So 
It is coming down towards 16 here, so I'm waiting to see if we can get the ask under 16 before I click the 50% button to take 100 shares off. So just waiting and watching and seeing, and I'm also starting to think of, okay, if we consolidate a little bit longer here, I'll have to just put a stop over the highs because I no longer want to add. But it is coming down towards 16. I see the ask get down under 16 here for just half a second, so I take 100 of the shares off at a small win, and I was really hoping that I could potentially get the rest of these shares off down around like 1570 if it wanted to give back the rest of that big initial move. But several minutes goes by, starts coming back up. So the right thing to do, which is what I did, which is pretty much the only good thing that I did between <laughs> the last trade and this trade was put the stop in at the highs here. So I got my stop in at the highs, which is up at 1627. If this thing wants to go higher, I don't want to be adding in at this point. It's consolidated and then it's going to make a move through those highs. It's just not part of my game plan. That's not how I want to be trading. So I'm just watching this here to see if it's going to get up and take me out here at the highs. Like I said, stop is at 1627, which is about five cents over where my entry was. It does come out and stops me out there for uh, the loss on those other half of the shares, $9 overall. And I got filled there at 1635, so seven cents above where my stop was. A little bit disappointing there. It's really the first time I've had to use a stop with IB, so hopefully that's not going to be a trend going forward, but I was a little bit disappointed in seven cents of slippage there. So finally, later on, another 40 minutes or so has gone by, and I'm watching Netflix here, and it's, as you can see, it's making a big move bounce off of this VWAP, which was down at about 319. Now it's all the way up through 323. And I'm looking, thinking maybe it can make a nice strong push towards 325. So maybe if it gets towards 324.50, I can look to start a position here on a Netflix short. So it is coming up towards 324.50 here. I don't want it any less than that though. It gets above 50, just barely there and gets some resistance. So I go ahead and put my order out and I get filled there 100 shares short at 324.50 here on Netflix. So I uh, feel pretty good about this one overall. It's hugely extended over the last several minutes. This candle itself is the biggest candle in the move, and the volume is the biggest on this candle as well. So there's a good chance that maybe the rest of the buyers coming in there pushing this thing higher, and now it's going to run out of buyers going forward and give me a chance for a decent pullback here. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it, and it starts making a pretty decent pullback right away. So I'm like, you know what, I can put my order out at 323.60, and if I get a fill there, which I do, I then eliminate all my loss on the day, and I'm now up 565. So uh, ideally, I would have waited for a little bit more here, taken a partial, and then tried to let the rest go as I normally do, but the opportunity to eliminate all the red on the day was too much for me to resist here on Netflix. So that was it, I took the whole thing right there. So that's gonna do it for me today and for me for the week. So I am now done trading for the rest of the week. Uh, green day yesterday, basically I'm up, what, five something today after commissions, I'll probably be break even slightly green, maybe 50 cents to a dollar or so because my commissions are so low. But yeah, so it's gonna be technically a green week with two green days, but overall not my cleanest trading day, not my best trading day. So. I'll be happy to get out with essentially a break even day and move on with the rest of my week. So hopefully you guys had a good trading day today. If you enjoyed these videos, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. It means a lot for me. It's absolutely free for you and I'll catch you later.